All right, Scorpio, we're going to do your full reading. This chair is so annoying. I forgot how annoying it is. I might have to change it to another one. Scorpio. Scorpio in the person, please. The person that they're with, the person that they're separated with, this person that they're thinking about. Scorpio, person that they're with, the person that they're separated with, the person that they're thinking about. Thank you. Ooh, what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> the death. Okay. That's definitely your energy. <laughs> Scorpio. So your first card is this person is very confused. Confused in what happened in this situation. I feel like for some of you, this person hasn't learned from this situation. In the death, they're really stuck. Like, why are you upset? Why are you doing this? Why are you, you know, blocking me? Why you feel this way? They're thinking that they were honest about the situation. I'm also feeling like in this in the five of swords here, this person was very deceitive, like very a lie, betrayed, betrayed you. Also, this person might have, you know, made you cry. They were very cold to you. And I also feel like it was an emo emotional roller coaster with you. Like this person was a snake in disguise. You know, they were wearing a mask here. You didn't see this. I feel like you were very happy with this person or you wanted it to work out with this person. Like you had these good qualities about this person in your mind. And, and I'm just getting this overbearing feeling of a um, disaster, you know, strike uh, when you were just like so suddenly, so quickly, so fast. But, you know, I also do feel like sometimes this person is happy with you. Sometimes this person is doesn't want to spend time with you or something like that like they're hot and cold i'm feeling like this person is reckless with their words okay i'm feeling like they're very dark energy here and this is why the death is probably in reverse because they just don't get it okay the magician is also here which is telling me be careful with your body be careful with your mind be careful with yourself because this person is out to make you feel like something that you're not which is nothing making you feel like nothing like you're no one, like you're not special. This person makes you feel like how they feel inside, okay? They're very defeated inside. And this has nothing to do with you. It's something to do with how they were raised, how people treated them from when they were young till they're grown in adulthood. And this is how they show their appreciation to the universe when the universe blessed them with a beautiful, gentle soul like yourself. I'm also seeing the six of uh, swords here where you're decided to move out move on um you know i don't necessarily think that you're going to end this relationship but right now you know it's not a healthy one for you so you're taking a break maybe going away maybe taking a trip um you know trying to clear your mind here you know i <laughs> your person is coming off as a aries leo or sag energy very stubborn energy in the emperor um, set in their ways. I definitely feel like this person could be mentally or physically abusive for some of you. But the magician beside it, this person is very reckless, could be having sex with other people. And also, this person could be using nothing, no protection. So be careful with your health when it comes to this person. I see this overbearing love for you. You know, making you feel, using um, self, um, like, um, manipulation on you, making you think that you have, like, you said something that you didn't say. Um, you could be dating a Scorpio, Cancer, or, or Pisces energy as well with this Queen of Cup. Um, very, like, nagging, nagging love that they have for you so this is a soulmate uh connection unfortunately yes i know you guys don't want to hear that two of cups is here um this person is just not taking any move with taking responsibilities and that's because they're used to the other person just folding in and taking the l you know they're used to manipulation manip manipulating your mind in the emperor um uh, making you feel like you're the you're the problem when you're not the star is also here where you just don't have any faith in this person anymore, this relationship. All right, you're losing respect for them. 
you're you're definitely closing off but you do have a lot of love for this person and the two of cups being here okay it's mutual feelings you and this person think about each other a lot you and this person want to be with each other but something is just off here where they're just damaged or tarnished or you know just tainted from their experiences and they're picking they're choosing the victim side they're the victims here telling you their sob stories you know making you forget why you feel the way that you feel about ending things with them this you know they're playing mind games with you when you want to break up with them they are telling you their sob stories about when they were raised and how they've been treated so you're like off guarded a little bit and you're not trying to break up with them anymore okay but I see that you are definitely not giving this person any play. You're very, like, not cold, but you're just, like, don't want to entertain them when it comes to a romantic gesture. Um, you're just doing your own thing, trying to get over this heartbreak with a nine of swords in your back because I feel like this person have made you feel stressed, depressed, anxiety, sleepless nights, crying a lot, regret. And, you know, you're all in your head about this. But I also see your person coming through here, and I'm going to say that they're not ready for a committed relationship, okay? They're coming off as playing games, player mode, okay? Very cold. Could be dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius or a Libra energy. And this is why this tower moment is here, because this person is not ready. And you're ready, Scorpio. You're ready for a committed relationship, and this person is not. So how can you, you know, give your all to someone that is not ready? Even though this person, you know, not all of us are meant to be with our soulmates, you know? Not all of us. Just like we're not meant to be with our twin flames sometimes, you know? These people, they come in your life, and yes, things feel right at first, but they're just like regular people where you're going to have to learn a lot of situations here okay they have a, a lot of love for you the same amount of mutual love and care for you but however the way they deal with things are different okay the way they deal with their feelings are different than the way you deal with your feelings and that's how you have to you know learn how to live with each other that way if this is important to you okay if it's not important to you then kick rocks you know you don't have to deal with this person all right, I do see them coming back in the back of the deck, trying to offer you, you know, if they can have another chance with you, plead in their case. So in the present moment, we have the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, the Justice, and Confusion. So... You know, I do also see the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, could be married, deciding to divorce this person, to end this relationship, to tie up this family situation or the dynamic that you guys got going on. But this person is going to plead their case, but they're, you know, overbearing, like I said before. So I'm definitely feeling like this person... Hmm is going to slow that down a little bit. But I see that you're um, protecting your energy towards this person. So you're not you're, you're not blind to what they're doing. You know, you're, you're very alert. Your intuition has kicked in. You know, they want to come back and, you know, offer you this second chance like you need it. But it's like they're also coming back with no intentions of really committed to you, you know. Um, and then I'm... Um, Feeling like, you know, you guys have a good time together when you guys go out. This is what they remember. This is what they cherish. You could be dating a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy, okay? Um, where this person is just free-spirited. They don't like to be tied down when they do. And I feel like this person likes to have friends as well. So it's important to them. They like to be with their friends, hang with their friends, travel with their friends. Like people, they like people around them. If you take that away from them, they feel very trapped very trapped in the death this is not what their personality is all about they like to have fun they like to party they like to travel um they like to talk about these things 
like to spend money that they don't have, you know, things like that. So they're going to tell you this. I feel like, you know, they're going to give you what you want in a justice, even if it's a divorce. But this person has choices that, you know, are lingering um, about. And, you know, they're not long term choices, but they're like situations that's making this relationship have um, bumps in the road. OK, because if they want to be with you, they have to grow up quickly and you know, be on your level of things or else you're out the door. So this is what I see for you. I'm going to go ahead and do your next swatch because this is your full. So let's see the continu continuation of the future, right? So let's see the square of this person in the future, please. Scorpio in this person in the future. I haven't used this deck in a minute. Goodness, but my angels want me to use it today. All right, so you have the Empress. Yeah. Still in separation in the future. Still going through a separation for some of you. You definitely feel like this person is not the one that you want to be with. Oh, my God, you know. Um, I do feel like, you know, you guys want stuff to work but it's like you have love the, the love is not the problem it's the respect that's the problem the respect and appreciation is the problem and this person constantly puts you through stress um don't give you what you want don't fulfill your cup all right they're very lazy in doing this it's like it's like they're saying this is what you get you know want it want it if you don't you can go but that's not what they truly want but I feel like it's like making you make a decision very quickly here, Scorpio, okay? In the death card, this is will hand. Um, but I feel like this person will come back again like they usually do. I'm getting the feeling that this person is going to always want to come back to you. Always going to want to come back to you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're going to really try, okay? They're coming back in the Four of Cups here when you guys are moved on, possibly with someone else. They're looking at you at their Nine of, nine of um, Cups here, their wish fulfillment, realizing the growth. They do see as the Queen of Pentacles. I told you we're coming off someone definitely bigger than they are because they're coming off as pages and knights. Very immature energy, even though you're, they're your soulmate, okay? Um, but your soulmate is someone that is definitely here to learn from you or you to learn from them. All right? So, you know, you're coming off as someone that's very accomplished. You live more lives than this person. I do feel like this person is going to ask you to give them another chance, maybe, maybe engagement, because I see celebration here, but I see that they're waiting on something, waiting on you. For some of you, might be um, with someone else, because I feel like in a Three of Pentacles, this person is saying that there is someone else, there's a third party here in the future, like you moved on with someone else. Um, and this is their worst fear, their worst nightmare coming to life because they're going to have to make a decision between what they truly want, the past or the future. Okay. And I'm also seeing the nine of the 10 of wands here, which is going to be like this person, you know, you of course you have a lot of history with this person. There's a lot of burden with this person. Wow. But I also feel like this person is going to take responsibility, the 10 of um, wands. Okay. And try to like, try to impress you to carry the responsibility of what happened here in this connection. I also see the fools. You know, the fools tells the, all the story here, everything. You could just stop the reading right now with the fools. We have the devil in the back of the deck, okay? Which is, you know, this person is constantly thinking about you, want to be with you, want to see you, you know, but they have shit that they have to take care of. They have drama. They have 
something that they're stuck in that they don't want to be in and it's just you know it's just crazy but i feel like you know you guys are eventually going to jump right back into this relationship honestly because the love is way too strong the love is way too strong in the past remember and not in the past um well this is the future so in the past when i did your first watch i saw the fools in reverse so that indicate that you don't trust this person but in the future things have shifted okay things have shift in the fools so i see that you're going to take a leap of faith with this with this relationship you and this person here even though they gave you the five of pentacles which you know you have to be careful with in the future with this spending and trying to make this person feel like they're loved and stuff like that you can do that in different ways than taking out your wallet all the time and showing them that way okay buying materialistic things because this money situation needs to be very careful in the future you don't want to live paycheck to paycheck and this person might make you feel like that's something that you have to do to keep them around and truly not okay uh, maybe that's the way you show love that's something that you need to work on because you don't have to show love through money okay and i'm also feeling here that you guys are going to find your way okay even though you know it's going to be a, a lot of hiccups in the road where the passion might be a little bit stale or you're deciding to put a hold on this new beginning with this person because you're just not sure about this five of pentacles for some of you this person might have left you for somebody else in the past okay and this is um coming up because i feel like you have to do a lot of healing with this nine of swords here okay but i feel like you're still going to give this person a fair shot but it's going to be just a lot of unbalanced things coming through your head like are they doing what they're supposed to do are they at the same place that they said they were supposed to be at or you know stuff like that so let's see your feelings towards this person and then their feelings towards you real quick scorpio let's see okay let me use this stuff right here scorpio feelings towards this person please scorpio energy towards this person scorpio energy towards this person please Wow. All right, Scorpio, you have the 1111 in reverse. Clearly, this is someone that, you know, you're not speaking to right now or you're not seeing eye to eye with. You look at this person as your home, okay? Your home um, that is in turmoil, that is in the 1111 in reverse, okay? This is how you look at this person. So you understand there's a conflict that needs to be addressed here. Listen, you you feel like this relationship is going to end you feel like there is a relationship not end but i feel like it's not going to be successful let's use that word not going to be successful in the eight of um pentacles here okay um it could be that you know this person don't have a job this person don't have you know the finances to or you don't have the finances to take care of this person, take it as it resonates, but something with money here that could be an issue or you're thinking about, oh my God, you know, the pentacles really um, represents our form of the le our legacy. And I feel like all of them, the eight of pentacles are in reverse. So we're not going to win. We're not going to be successful here. And this is how you might be looking at it. It might not just be, it might not be about money at all. It just means how you see the relationship um but i also see the ten of pentacles which is in the upright which is very interesting so the only thing that's really keeping you guys from success is the doubt the doubt of the l who you know the l the eight of pentacles for me is the l somebody taking this l you know it's not going to work like this is what you're thinking about this relationship that is not going to work but you have this memory or this fantasy of you having a home marriage children together you know having a legacy together um leaving a legacy behind together and i feel like you want an apology from this person you want an apology from this person um you will get it you know i just see this person is like coming towards you and um pleading for a second chance so you will get in a conversation 
Um, again, this person is a mind manipulator, but you already know that. Who better to know that than the person that, you know, is dating them? Oh, no, my cards fell on the floor. All right, so let's see their energy towards you, Scorpio. So Scorpio's person energy towards Scorpio, please. What are they feeling for Scorpio? And Scorpio feel person's feelings for Scorpio, please. I'm gonna shuffle this again. All right, the Queen of Wands, this is how they see you, Scorpio. Someone that is definitely not interested in them, for sure. Like you're very standoffish. You're like rolling your eyes on the back of your head. You don't want to have nothing to do with them. When they do walk around, you're like, oh, what are you doing here? What do you want? I don't want to talk to you kind of thing. You know, this three of um, swords in the back is just something that always comes up. Like you're just, they feel like you're not over it, but the truth is you are. You're trying to just move on with your life. And I also feel like, you know, this lovers here, this lovers in the middle and this reckless energy of this person. They're like, you know what? You're just very reckless with your words. You know, you're giving me a hard time. Like for some of you, listen, why are they telling me, Scorpio, that, um, Listen, take it as that is resonate, but they're telling me there was a third party situation here that you were addicted to. Um, you're addicted to, like you felt like, like you were having unprotected sex with this person. I don't know. This is really confusing how their energy is coming out because this is how they see you. They see you as very cold. They see you as someone that doesn't want to talk to them, don't want to, you know, be around them. But what follows is a commitment here. Um, someone that is very not reliable. Oof, my God, right now, they're really pissed. Scorpio, what is going on here? They're saying a third party that they that happened a third. OK, so this might just be them because, you know, but at their list, I asked them for your energy. So this is why it's so confusing to me. They're saying a third party situation that is clearly still there. But for some of you, this person could just want to call you because it's lovers here. No, I don't think so. It's talking about you. Scorpio, they're saying you were reckless with your words. You blew up on them. You told them all these things. You did a lot of things. You were reckless. You were um, unstable. Somebody was having unprotect unprotected sex with someone else. STD might have played a role here. Mm. Oof. You guys, I hope that's not you, Scorpio, but that's how they see you. Like the relationship is very much an open book. Look at this, because this is how it looked. So yeah, this is your energy. I know that's you. They're saying that you're very cold, like you don't want to be with them. Like you're just like not giving them the time of day here. Because, okay, 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 they're with someone else. Okay, so, you know, you found out about this third party situation. So this person is kind of weird the way they're telling because I asked them for how you, they feel about you, but they're coming out with somebody. Um, they're telling me of what, you know, they did to you. They're not telling me how they see you. So they just told me that, you know, they are, yeah, you're not into, into this person um, or you're trying to appear that way. You're very cold. You're very, and you're not giving them any indication that you want a second chance with them because of this for the third party situation that they presented with you. They're still with someone else that they're very passionate about. 
is a twin flame connection. They were very reckless with you, very unstable with you. They were having unprotected sex with this third party situation here that you found out about. You walked away from them. You're trying to move on with your life. They gave you the five of pentacles. They left you for this person or made you feel like they wasn't ready to make a decision in the three of wands. Remember? Mm -mm -mm. They were waiting, 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 and you made the decision for them. Oh my goodness, that was very hard. I hate when energies do that. Just tell me what you think about somebody. Just, <laughs> don't tell me what you're doing. You know what it is, this person, energy, what they do when you ask them about themselves, they turn the, they, they, took, they flip the switch in manipulation. And you know, when we did your reading, this person was coming off very manipulative in the emperor. But I just feel like, you know, even with me as a reader, their energy is doing that to me, you know, and they don't even, I never even met them, but you know, their energy is doing that to me. Manipulator, you know? So let's see any advice you might have for your full for Scorpio. Wow. On the back, we have incompletion, okay? This might be a cycle with you and this person. You might go back again because you feel like something might be incomplete here. This person also feels the same way. And I also feel like, you know, you guys have a lot more to learn from each other. That's just how the universe works until you want to put an end to the cycle and definitely move on and try to do the work within yourself. Don't date other people. Just do the work within yourself. You know what you truly want. Embrace life. Travel by yourself. Hang out with people that truly matter, like your friends, your family, and see what's really important so the universe can reward you to the next level. That's how you end a cycle, you guys. Now, it's, it's easier said than done, believe me, but that's how you do it. So the justice is here, all right? The justice is here in reverse. So, you know, I feel like this person, when they're not going to get their way with you, they're going to change their shifts. Um, I feel like what's going on here is, you know, learning how to walk away from without the clarity, learning how to, you know, let things go and, you know, humble yourself in a situation because this is very important moving forward. I feel like the angels want you to know that. Be okay with knowing what you already know with this um, seven of uh, cups in reverse because clearly this person was unfair to you and I see a lot of cheating going on here, unprotected. So for some of you, and we did th talk about that in the uh, magician, when I asked this person about how they felt about you, instead of telling me how they felt about you, they told me what they did to you, okay, and what they're doing. But this person is very reckless in the magician and also reckless in the just justice here. Um, they're going to bring things to you and expect you to help them with this situation, okay, because they're overwhelmed with this. They could have gotten someone pregnant or uh, in a situation where these people are just catching feelings for them. And this is not what they wanted. And now they're coming to you, which is their 10 of pentacles in reverse. For some of you might be married to this person going through a divorce and they want you to help them out with this or to rescue them. All right. There's going to be a lot of arguments, a lot of fighting. I see for some of you stay away from the street fights, stay away from the conflict. It's not good for you. This person is a child, you know, a child page of wands. I mean, very passionate, excited child, but it's like they're not really seeing, you're not on this level. You're the queen of pentacles, you know? You're not on this level. You're, you're all the way up there and this person is dragging you down to something that you're not. You know, you don't handle situations like this and you don't want this kind of stress into your life. So I do see that you're, you know, bickering with these people. And this is something that is not going to end. You know, it's constantly happening and happening. 
you know, because there's a cycle here. Okay, a cycle here. Um, there's incompletion here. Hmm. This is what I see for you. I hope it resonates, you guys. I hope you enjoy your full, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, Scorpio.